courage, determination, bravery, ambition, pride, cunning. Okay. I wonder which house would fit restless, bored, and trapped. guys Jenny with Jenny squad here and I'm back today for another Dollar Tree haul as always I am very excited to show you what I found real quick thank you so so much for those of you that are subscribed I truly appreciate you and also if you are new welcome I do Dollar Tree hauls along with Dollar General hauls and hauls from other stores I shop at I also just recently uploaded a DIY video, so if you didn't see that, you can go check that out. But that is all I have for today, so let's get into the haul. All right, guys, so I have a random haul for you today. Just a few more Valentine's things trickled in, but very few. And this will probably be the last video with any Valentine's Day things in it, but I wanted to show you just in case you wanted to go grab them from the store. So I did pick up some of these handmade cards. These are super cute. Um, these are really great for actually planners and things like that. You can also put them in there or you can use them for DIYs. So I picked these two up. I thought these were really cute. This one says, you fill my heart. And it has this jar, like mason jar full of hearts, which I thought was really cute. And then they have with lots of love. So that is a really cute card. You can actually peel this part right off and use this on something else. So that's the best part about these cards is you can reuse them and kind of repurpose the pieces on the card. Also, it just has a little heart on the back and it comes with a red envelope. But I thought this card was super cute. I like the uh, little mason jar that's on the front. This one I thought was also really cute. So it says XO, XO, like a tic-tac-toe board, and then it has little hearts on it. It just says Happy Valentine's Day. It's foiled, it's red, and the inside is also really cute. So it's bordered with these X's and O's. It just says hugs and kisses and the back has a little pink heart on it. So I thought this was really cute. It's just a really nice card for Valentine's Day. This would be really cute for like a friend or a girlfriend or something like that, I think, um, because it just says hugs and kisses on the inside. So really cute find, and they have some really great handmade cards. Um, these are a dollar. The other cards that are at Dollar Tree are usually two for a dollar, but these are a little bit better quality, so I would check those out if you haven't seen them yet. Um, I also picked up these rose lollipops, so it's kind of a rose bouquet of lollipops, I guess you could say, but I thought these were really cute. These would be really nice in a basket or um, just in like a little kind of care package or something, but I thought these were really pretty. These are really cute um, for like I said, just decorating in general, like in a tear tray or something, they would be really cute, but a really good find for a dollar. And you get, how many of these are in there? Six, eight of them. So that's really cute. I really like those. I don't know if they had them in pink or not. I only saw the red, but I really like those. And then I picked up these Carnival Heart Pops and they have the little kind of swirls inside. I don't know if you guys can kind of see, but there are these lollipops that have the little swirl kind of flavor to them. These are really good, actually. I really like these. I'm not really into sweets that much, but these are really good. Um, and also, these would be really cute in a little coffee bar or something. Also, like if you put these in a little jar or put them on a tear tray, these would also be really cute. So I really like these, too. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of put them aside to give to my daughter or something if she wants one. And then I found these napkins. They are in the shape of hearts. How cute are these? So I really like these. I've never seen them do the hearts before. I know over the summer they'll do like the shapes of fruits and things like that, like lemons and watermelons, but I've never seen the heart ones and I thought these were adorable. So I picked these up. There's 16 of them and these would be nice for you know, a little fun Valentine's Day dinner or something. I think these are cute. I really like these. And you can use these for every day too, just for regular lunches and things like that. So that was the last Valentine's Day thing that I have. 
Now I'm going to actually, you know what? I missed one. So these are little Valentine's Day little hair holders. So these are those kind of um, my 80s girls and 90s girls probably know, but these are like look like the old phone cord that we used to have. But these are really cute. They're in the shape of hearts. And these actually uh, don't get stuck in your hair or they're supposed to not leave marks in your hair when you use them. I've never personally used this kind of hair holder before, but I got these for my daughter. I thought these were really cute. I'll put them in her scavenger hunt. Um, and I think she'll really like them, but it's just the three piece elastics, but how adorable are those? Those are really cute. So I got those. And then the next things I found were actually part of the little gnome, uh, fairy garden collection. And they have the cutest stuff out this year for the fairy garden collection. So I picked up this little base and look how cute this is. So they usually do something like this. I believe for the last couple of years, I've seen them do kind of like this design, but I don't remember ever seeing the grass part. You could correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen like with this grass inside. I thought that was so cute. I didn't actually go with this kind of theme. So the theme I'm talking about is more of like this garden theme. I did pick up one of these pieces just because I thought this one was really cute. It has this little yellow flower on top with the little mushrooms. And like, look at the little door, the details in this. If you go to like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, these are very expensive for even just the little pieces. So to find them at Dollar Tree is really cool. And they do a really good job actually for just a dollar. These pieces are really nice. So I picked this one up because this one is just really cute. And then I went with the kind of um, sweets theme. So they have these little, you know, kind of sweets. These are like little lollipops that says welcome. The candy cane one is kind of weird because it doesn't really go with like the the whole candy lollipop sweet theme I feel like that reminds me of Christmas I think they're kind of going for peppermints but that that one is a little odd to me <laughs> but maybe that's just me I don't know but I think these are super cute so I picked those up and then I picked up these little kind of milkshakes these little sundaes how cute are these ones so these are also super cute again with the candy cane I think they're going for like a peppermint thing but I just think these are adorable. Like what? These are so cute. So I like those. And then I picked up this one, which has the little kind of macaroons on them or macarons. I don't know which is which. I keep forgetting which one is which. I have to look it up. But one of these, um, these little tiny ones are just so cute. And then they have the little kind of unicorn with it but these are really, really nice. I like these. I've never seen them do them like this tiny before with like the little baked goods and things like that. So I thought that was super cute. And then I picked up the little gnome ladies. <laughs> so, or the little fairies. I think these are adorable. These are so cute. They're so tiny and small. I'm actually going to put these on display, I think, because I just think they're adorable with the little, I'm gonna put them in here in their little kind of garden. And then I found this one, which is a cake shop, but it's a little cupcake. And I thought that was so cute. It has like a little raspberry on top, but how cute is this? Oh my gosh. It's got like a frosting roof. I think that's really cute. And then this one is my favorite. This is a little donut shop. And look at the little booth outside. What? That is so adorable. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite. I love this. So I thought this was really cute. I've never seen them do this before. So I got that one. And then I also picked up this really cute kind of cupcake Ferris wheel. I thought that was really cute. I really like this like kind of baked goods, sweets thing they have going on the theme this year. So I picked that up. And then two of the other pieces that I picked up that are not related to sweets, just the overall fairy garden, but I thought were really cool that they were doing is this little trailer or this little like camper. I think that's really cute. I don't really, I'm not into the colors to be honest. I, I don't know. I feel like it, remi it reminds me of like the 4th of July or something, which is fine, but I just, I don't know. I would probably change the color of this. 
So I would probably like repaint it or, or something. I'm not sure, but I think this would be cute if you did a little DIY maybe with, with these and, you know, kind of stuck them on or something and turn this into the sweets theme. So I picked it up just to have. And then also I really like this too, this little tractor. Look at the detail in this little tractor. That's amazing. So this is really cute. I actually kind of like this as is. It reminds me of like a John Deere tractor. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I live like in the country, so <laughs> you might not know, but this is a really cute. It reminds me of that. So I actually really like this as is, and I probably would just put this out on display how it is. I think it's cute. But that was the last part of the fairy garden portion. But they have some really great ones there. I did not pick everything up. So I suggest, you know, kind of going there and looking around to see what they have. Um, I did talk about these laser cutouts before. I thought I did not pick up the ocean, like animals that I was talking about, like the dolphin and the octopus and stuff. But I actually did and I didn't remember. So I picked these up. This has the whale in it, which is so cute. And then the penguin. And then it has the little dolphin. I think these are so nice. So these are just the laser cut um, kind of craft icons that you can use wherever. You can kind of stick them on packages. You can stick them in your scrapbook. You can put them in your planner. But I think these are so cute. You get two of each. And the whale is probably my favorite. But I thought that would be really cute. I think it's cute like if you're going on vacation or something and you put this maybe in your planner or like I said, a scrapbook or something. I think that would be really cute, but awesome finds at Dollar Tree. And these, I like I said before, they had tons. It was like a wall full of these, like all different ones. So really, really cool that they're coming out with those. Uh, another kind of crafting thing I got was just some glue sticks. I needed some more, so I picked these up. Also, that's really cool to find that you can get these at Dollar Tree for just a dollar for 20 glue sticks. That's, that's really awesome because usually they're, they're more expensive. So I just picked those up to have just in case. I also found these Bic pens. So a lot of times my daughter for school supplies will need pens, especially these black ink like ballpoint pens. So to find 12 of them for just a dollar, I picked it up because it's Bic also, which is name brand. So I thought that was really cool that I could find these there, all of these for just a dollar. So especially being this name brand. So I'm going to set these aside for her so that she can have them, you know, for school for the following year. But I thought this was a really cool find. And when you find name brands like that at Dollar Tree, you know, I would scoop them up just so that you have them because they do tend to go pretty fast. I also picked up this blind bag for her. So um, we still really like opening blind bags. I don't know about you guys, but we do still. This is a um, Playmobil figures and it just has one of these figures inside. You don't know which one you are getting, but these are fun because you kind of put them together. They're like little Lego pieces almost and you just never know what you're going to get. So these are really fun. Again, I'm not going to open this only because I'm giving this to her and I don't want to open it, you know, before she actually sees it. Uh, I also picked up this. So this is really cool. This is a photo focused uh, foundation stick and it's by Wet n Wild. Here's the color and the color is actually, it just says sun kissed beige and it looks like this. Sorry if it's kind of hard to see, but that's the color. I'm actually going to give this to my daughter because she's kind of trying out makeup right now and seeing what she likes but I feel like this stick foundation would be um, easy to use like if she wanted to just put a little under her eyes or something I don't condone her wearing like a ton of makeup right now but a little bit here and there is okay with me she's a good kid so you know if she feels like she wants to that's fine with me um, but she has been kind of trying it out a little bit so I think this would be easy for her to use. It also says cruelty free here on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see it's kind of out of focus, but I don't know if it'll show, but it says right here, cruelty free. And, um, I think that would be a really good if you are just kind of trying it out or 
for anyone really. I think that's an easy way to kind of use foundation if it's like in a stick form where you can kind of put it wherever. So I got that. Uh, I also picked up these antibacterial hand soaps and they're so cute. So this one is a watermelon and I've never seen them do this before with like the fruits. I thought this was so adorable. Like I'll save this for the summer, but I really like this antibacterial, that it's antibacterial hand soap too, but I like how this looks. It's really cute. So that's the watermelon one. And then this is the lemon one. They also had an orange one, so a citrus one, but this one is really cute too. I'm gonna use this in my kitchen. I like to use kind of lemon scented soaps in the kitchen usually. So I'm going to use this one in there, but I thought that was really cute. And I'm super impressed that they're, you know, a dollar for antibacterial soap that's like in the container like this. I think it's really adorable. So I picked that up and then I also picked up a couple of these flower like seeds and if you you can see on the box they actually say $2.99 so they have these at Dollar Tree for a dollar. This is a wildflower uh, blend for a shade area and I've heard really good things about these from Dollar Tree. I've heard they work really well. I don't know. I've never personally tried them but because they said you know $2.99 on them I figured they're probably good. Uh, these are semi-dwarf pumila. I don't know if that's right. Uh, mixed colors. I thought these were really pretty. And I kind of picked these up for um, a basket of, for Valentine's Day. So I thought that would be really cute if you put these in there. And I have a couple ideas for it. But also I've never tried this before. So I want to see how they work. Hopefully they work good. Fingers crossed. But um, we'll give them a try. This one I also picked up for my daughter. These are little nail files. There's three of them and they're really, really cute. So these are the diamond cosmetic ones and I've actually used the diamond ones before and they work really, really well. And these are just really cute patterns. Like I love the little bows on it. I think these are so cute. I don't know. I feel like you always need a nail file around, right? Like a good one. And she's always filing like her nails and stuff. So I picked this up for her. I think these are really cute. So we'll use those. And then I got this little sign. I've never seen them do these before. So this one has like a little kind of cutout. And it says wake up and smell the coffee. And on the inside there's kind of a coffee image. I thought these were cool. I've never seen, you know, like the kind of image inside this little shadow box type thing. So I thought that was cool. They had all different ones. Uh, I think they had one that said like something about home. I don't remember exactly what the saying was. And then I don't know what the, I can't remember what the third one is, but there were multiple kind of images like this, but I liked this one because I really like coffee. So I picked that up. I also picked up some of these little things from the party section. So these are um, four little kind of bowls for $1.00. These are also great if you want to use them inside like um, for storage in a basket or something and you kind of put them together like this. You can put, drop little things inside. But I actually just got these for sauces and condiments and things like that. So I picked these up for that purpose and I think they're really nice looking. And then obviously if they get ruined or whatever, you just throw them out because they were four for a dollar. So it's not a big deal. So I picked these up for that. And then I also found another thing for the kind of garden section. And it's this flower pot hugger. And this one is just so cute. It's a turtle. And I've actually gotten this for my friend before um, in the owl version because she really likes owls and they work really well. So you just basically hang this on the side of a flower pot. It has these little kind of hooks in the back here. And this one is just really cute. So I actually got this for myself for over the summer. If I'm planting something or if I get a planter inside, I want to kind of stick this on the side. I think it's really cute. I like the turtle and I like that it has like a little sunflower in her hat. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. And then the other gardening thing that I found were just these gloves. I think these are really pretty actually. I picked these up early because... Last time I went to get gloves because I actually needed them, 
they were completely gone. So I actually went to pick them up for a gift um, and I couldn't find them at all. So I picked these up just in case this year. Uh, so I had some if I need them for outside. And then the other cool thing that I found were these galvanized pieces. So they have so many galvanized pieces now at Dollar Tree that you can do DIYs with and I thought this was awesome. So this is a really kind of bigger piece too and you can do so many things with these. They had um, a hashtag one. I think they had like an arrow, a feather, but they had so many different items like this. So this is a huge score so I would go and grab these if you can they're in the crafter section so it's by crafter square and you can do like I said so many DIYs with these that you just have to pick it up like it's a must uh, but really really cute and I'm thinking about what to do with mine right now I have no ideas yet but I'm thinking about it to see kind of what I want to do with it I also found Harry Potter at Dollar Tree which is crazy so I showed in the last haul that I found the Harry Potter Valentine's which is great but then I actually found this Harry Potter cup yes it's plastic but it's Harry Potter so that's crazy to me and I'm gonna give this to my daughter I think she'll really like it they have the different houses on the side if you're not familiar with Harry Potter they have different houses that they kind of go to when they're at the school that you get picked for. So this one is Ravenclaw, this one is Slytherin, this is Gryffindor, and this is Hufflepuff. So really cool. I think she'll really like this. I'm going to give this to her so she can kind of drink her water out of it and things like that. But I was really excited I found that for her. That was in the party section with, with like the birthday supplies and things like that. I would love if they did like Harry Potter stuff at Dollar Tree, like for a party or something. That would be so cool. So Dollar Tree, if you ever see this, <laughs> you know, consider it. It would be great. Um, so this one uh, I also picked up for the office. This is a electronics duster. And I don't think I've ever seen them have this at Dollar Tree before. I mean, maybe they have. It's just a compressed kind of gas and you know to clean out your keyboard and things like that so I got this for that purpose but really cool never seen this there before myself um so I picked it up just to kind of use in the office and keep things clean and then I found this really nice jar at Dollar Tree so they have really really great jars to use for storage and keeping kind of things in like spices or flour or whatever you want to put in there but this is super nice the good thing about this is this lid it has an indent like this so if you want to store multiple jars like this you just get the other jar or however many and you can stack them like this which is awesome. So I really, really wish I would have gotten two of them. I wasn't thinking. Um, I actually just got this for ground coffee, but I wish I would have gotten a second one for tea. So I'm really, really bummed that I didn't, and I might have to go back and get a second one. But these are super nice. It's just a twist top. And like I said, it, the best thing about them is that they stack. It would also be really nice for organization, like if you're doing spices or whatever um you could kind of stack these on top of each other or ingredients or like dried beans or rice or whatever you want to put in here but really cool for a pantry so I um I really regret only getting one but that's okay I just like how nice this looks too I think it looks really chic so I picked it up for coffee and that I think was the last thing that was kind of a bigger haul uh, it was very random, but all over the place, right? But a bigger one. So hopefully you're still here and you are, you made it to the end of the video. But thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will be coming out with more stuff. So make sure you hit the bell so that you don't uh, miss the next video that I post. And that's all I have for today. So I will see you next time. Bye guys.